So each year, you've got to get a visual inspection done on your tank. doesn't matter if it's aluminum or steel, and that visual inspection is not as much important for you as you think it would. It's more important that it's done for the actual fill operator. That's the guy who's actually filling your system and taking it from a low pressure to a higher pressure rating, and during that process is the most dangerous time. So we really rely on the visual inspection sticker to tell us a lot prior to filling your tank. But what all should be on a visual inspection sticker? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina, and if you are new to our channel, take a few seconds and click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to be looking at a custom visual inspection sticker, and yes, I said custom. That's because we use custom stickers here. We don't buy from a distributor. We don't buy from a training agency. We have custom made stickers made for our visual inspection process. Now, I'm not going to be actually going over the visual inspection process, but I am going to be focusing on the sticker and all the information that's on it. This is something that you should have learned during your open water course, but in the event that you didn't, we're going to be looking in-depthly at the visual inspection sticker and what the information means. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so I got a customer cylinder here that's just got back with a brand new hydro, um, and I just performed my visual inspection. The only thing I have left to do, of course, is replace the valve, put some air in it, throw a new sticker on it, and then of course the customer can go out and have a good day of diving. So I'm going to go remove this sticker, and before I put the new sticker on and stamp it out, we're going to go over each little component here and just try to have a better understanding of what's actually on a sticker and what a fill operator looks for whenever he fills the cylinder. So first of all, we do use custom-made uh, stickers. We do not buy from a distributor. We don't buy from a training agency. We like our custom-made stickers, and that's what we've been using really since day number one. So it's going to have our logo on it. It's going to have our phone number and our website as well. It just gives a little bit of information to either the fill operator if he's got a question or even the customer itself. And it's got a little statement here. It just says, this visual inspection has been performed by PSI, PCI certified visual inspector, and the cylinder has successfully passed its yearly inspection. And basically all that says is that we are certified through PSI, PCI to do visual inspections and that, of course, it meets their their 18 step protocol. Moving on down, of course, we have three different markings here. We can either have an air only cylinder, we can have a nitrox up to 40% pre-blend, or we can have a 100% partial pressure blended cylinder. Now, based off whether or not the cylinder gets O2 cleaned, or whether it's gonna be used for nitrox, then of course, it's gonna determine what we stamp out. On this particular cylinder, it's just simply air only, so I'll stamp out air only prior to putting a sticker on. Moving on down, you're going to have a bunch of numbers and a bunch of letters. And if you can't already tell, the numbers are going to be the year. So we had these stickers, or when these stickers were produced for us, they were made in 2019, and of course they extended out to 2027. Uh, we still have several stickers left over from 2019, so we're still using them. But it just says 2019, 2020, so forth and so on. And then of course these are your months at the bottom, January, February, March, all the way up to December. So today when I do a visual inspection on this tank, I would stamp out air only. I would stamp out the year 20 and the month of May. It is currently May 26, so once that goes on, then, of course, it says this cylinder is going to be visually inspected until May of 2021. So guys, I hope you have a better understanding now of what exactly the visual inspection sticker says and why it's so important to the fill operator, not so much to the diver himself. Yes, the diver wants to be safe when he's underwater. He needs to make sure his gear is in good, proper working order and that it's not going to go boom on him. But the fill operator is the one that's really running that risk during the filling process. And he really is going to have a lot of 
reliance on that visual inspection sticker. Guys, if you got any question on visual inspections or visual inspection stickers, things like that, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. If you want to see more technical related videos like this as well, drop me a comment on what you want to see next and we'll try our best to get a video made. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you share this video as well. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.